Hello there, my beautiful Capricorn friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Capricorn, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card and an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. Oh my gosh, that incense is bothering my eyes a lot today. I'm kind of hot boxing myself in this uh, room with this incense. So I split the deck. I'm going to pull cards from the center here. Capricorn, look at this. Ten of Cups energy. This is such a beautiful energy. I feel for a majority of you, you are feeling this. There's a lot of joy. There's a lot of happiness. There's celebration. A lot of getting together. Lots of good things are happening in your life. If you're not feeling this, know that it's on its way. Now, the Ten of Cups is all about emotional satisfaction and fulfillment. Connections, relationships, deep bonds. All of this is coming towards you. Spirit guides are really wanting you to visualize this place for yourself, Capricorn. This is your happily ever after. And I feel that some of you, because you have the vision, because you're holding strong to it, you have that desire to reach this place. You are walking towards it very quickly here. It's coming towards you. You can feel it, Capricorn. So... And not only that, I feel that some of you are seeing signs all around you with this. It's letting spirit guides in the universe are letting you know that Capricorn, you're on the right path. And what I want you to do today here, uh, Capricorn, anytime you watch my readings is use your own intuition with my cards. As you see them up here or here, your intuition is going to give you your own messages. So those messages are meant for you, especially if you feel like you're seeing something else coming through the reading. Okay. All right. Next, we're getting the world. So major changes coming in for you, Capricorn. I feel that you can feel the breeze of change coming through. This kind of a cycle for some of us can be a little bit hectic because there is a completion period happening as you enter this new chapter. So those of you that are going through life right now where there's so many things happening all at once, it almost feels like you're a chicken with your head cut off. And for some of you, you're going through like uh, tying up loose ends, you're completing projects, there's a completion happening here. Um, that busy energy is there as well. So it may feel a little bit chaotic. Know that this is normal around this time, that this is the universe letting you know that you're coming near a completion of a cycle and you're about to enter a new chapter, okay? So this energy is in the background for you. It is a major arcana card. Some of you are feeling this subtly. Some of you are feeling this intensely, okay? Five of Wands energy is coming through as well for some of you. So I don't like it when this one comes up because I feel there's almost like this testy energy around you, Capricorn. It's almost, it's not you, it's the people around you. And, and, and maybe because it's so busy, you're nearing a completion of a cycle. People are getting irritated and irked. There's something in the air that is kind of setting people off around you. Spirit guides really want you to focus on what you are doing right now and don't get caught up in what is going on around you with people, especially with drama, especially with people kind of wanting to poke you a little bit, right? There's this testy energy. So just be aware of this Capricorn, okay? So we'll take a look at all of this and uh, see what is going on. All right, so this beautiful energy, I really feel you're in for some big changes here, Capricorn. And I feel a ma majority of you, you're feeling this energy, you're feeling really good. It's, it's this knowing, this feeling within yourself that you know something big is about to happen in your life, and it truly is. Um, I don't know if any of you have been manifesting or visualizing this Ten of Cups place for you. This is where all of your desires are met. This is your happily ever after. This is you manifesting this into your reality here. And some of you are already experiencing little tidbits of this. This is where you're out and about. You're really enjoying the energy of the summer, right? You're out exploring different experiences with your friends, restaurants, celebrations, birthdays, weddings, lots of things going on. So I'm seeing a lot of people around you here, Capricorn. And some of you are traveling, meeting friends, family, that sort of thing. There's also work parties happening here as well. 
barbecues, parks, beaches, everything. So because of this energy, you are now in this vibration where you're uh, you're attracting a lot of good towards you here, Capricorn. This energy is really good because not only does it make you feel good and it also elevates you, but this is kind of giving you um, this opening, like there's a door opening through this feeling for you, Capricorn. And some of you are feeling this and you know that it's pulling you towards it. And Perhaps some of you have started something new. Maybe you have started a new job. Maybe you've moved somewhere. You feel this breeze coming in and I'm seeing a lot of you, like I'm seeing a face with wind blowing on it. And there's this beautiful smile and there's sun shining on your face. So I feel for some of you, you know that there's something new about to happen in your life, that there's almost like this completion period. So there's this busy energy. It feels a little bit chaotic, but there's a lot of joy and happiness through this chaos as well. Now, spirit guides want you to visualize what this 10 of cups place is for you, Capricorn, because through that visualization, everything's going to line up even more because your vibration and you're kind of elevated right now. So that energy, that frequency is in line. And if you can focus your attention and your energy and clear the fog, for some of us, I, I feel that there's a little bit of uncertainty or un, like not enough like fogginess with that vision because I don't know if you have goals that you want to reach, but they're almost so big that you feel like they're impossible, Capricorn. Nothing is ever impossible. Everything is possible. So dream as big as you can. This is what I do. I visualize the biggest possible thing that can happen to me in my life. And I aim for that. And no matter how absurd it sounds, I feel you can reach it. So reach for the stars. Oh, screw the stars. Reach for Pluto here, my friends. Go past everything and go straight for Pluto. Go as far as you can because anything is possible at this time for you. You are elevated. Some of you are ascending. And spirit guides are lining opportunities up, lining up people. So they're wanting you to be aware of everything that is going on around you especially the connections that you are making with the people that you are surrounded with because through these connections are going to come opportunities, offers, right? I'm getting love offers coming in as well. So some of you are going to meet a life partner, a soulmate through this joyous energy that has kind of enveloped you for the time being here. And it's a fun, it's a very light energy here, Capricorn. Um, for some of you, especially those of you that are traveling right now and meeting groups of people, maybe this is through business, maybe this is through a course or a retreat, there's connections coming in. So there's a chance for you to build deep bonds that are then going to open new doors for you. There's a lot of positive coming through here, positive experiences that are going to lead to something more. So heighten your senses here. I also feel there's somebody... Um, there's some words that are being said that are resonating with some of you, with people around you. Perhaps there's somebody that sings, that plays music, and you're listening to them singing. And those words are resonating with you so much. There's spirit coming through. Uh, there's messages coming through around in your surroundings through people, Capricorn. So be aware of this. I also feel now for some of you, it's a time to... Um, take a risk especially those of you that want a promotion at work it's time to ask for a raise here my friends i i feel that asking for what you want uh, is going to work in some of your benefits not everyone it's the way you approach it as well so make sure you have a plan and and, and go with it because now's the time to take that chance that's what i'm getting spirit guides are almost like nudging some of you to really leap forward a little bit here because the energy is in the air there's a lot of uplifting a lot of growth a lot of expansion happening here okay so that's the ten of cups energy for you now we've got the world card coming up as well as you're going through this ten of cups energy capricorn there's also a completion period happening so there's a lot of busy energy a lot of chaotic energy happening in your life 
I feel for some of you, you are tying up loose ends, you're completing projects. And because of this, as you're trying to finish things up, there's a lot more being piled on your plate. And this can feel a little frustrating. This can feel overwhelming. Take things one thing at a time here, Capricorn. This energy is normal, especially when we're going through a completion of a cycle. For others, there's like chaotic things happening, right? Things that you can't control and they're all happening in twos and threes. And it feels negative in the moment. There's a reason for that. It's because uh, the universe and spirit guides are kind of shaking things up a little bit. And it's not that it's them doing it. I feel there's a force that is kind of shifting your life a little bit because you're about to enter this new chapter. So you're going to feel like... Um, it's almost you're, like your attention is being taken or you're getting distractions and things are happening all at once. Perhaps your fridge breaks down. Maybe your car breaks down. It's kind of like, what? That's slowing me down. Now I have to put money somewhere and I have to fix this or do this. And it's, it just feels a little bit um, wacky. It's like a wacky energy, to be quite honest. Um, Maybe you lost your watch, lost your keys. They're like different, different things. They're little, little things that are happening. And you're taking notice of this Capricorn. And this is the universe letting you know that there's an ending of a cycle happening. So they really want you to ground yourself as you're going through this busy energy, right? Um, I'm getting road rage here as well. I don't know why road rage is coming through. So if you're experiencing that, especially a lot of red lights, um, spirit guides wanting you to really slow down a little bit and like ground your energy and self regulate, uh, especially with the red lights and stuff. They're wanting you to stop and just look around you rather than looking at the traffic, rather than looking at the lights and looking at your watch, look at your surroundings because there's beauty in everything that is going on around you. And through this beauty, you are going to see signs coming through Capricorn. So be aware of some of the signs that are coming through to you because there's messages. And let's say, for example, you're in traffic, a butterfly flies right across your windshield and you pull up. And of course, I never want you to pull up Google on your phone while you're driving. Just, um, Pull up Google and search what the spiritual meaning for that butterfly is once you get home and you'll know what that message is that the universe is sending you. Perhaps it's a dragonfly. Perhaps it's a crow. The other day, my sister-in-law and I were driving. Uh, we were heading somewhere. Super busy traffic. It's just chaotic energy. There's construction, semi-trucks, just chaos. And the traffic was like bumper to bumper. And there was a little break between two cars beside me and dives in a crow, taking a risk, grabbing whatever the heck it was in the ground that it thought was a value, probably thought it was food or something, and swooped away. And I was like, that crow must have been sitting there waiting for the right opportunity to dive in and take that whatever it was. And this is the kind of energy that spirit guides want you to be aware of because through this chaos is coming something for you, Capricorn. All right. And they want you to heighten your senses right now. And the other thing is you're entering a new chapter. So there's a lot of shedding happening for some of you. It's like getting rid of that old skin getting rid of things that no longer serve your higher purpose and really entering this new chapter fresh with a new clear mind. And having that clarity of where it is that you're headed, what that destination point is, what are your goals here, Capricorn? And a huge thing that you need to do here, and I'm going to say this because it works for me, it works for people in my life, is a vision board. Have a vision board in your life. Have your goals all in there. And, you know, if you have it there where you can see it every day, you can even print it out, put it in a picture frame on your desk. Put it on your cell phone, put it on your computer screens as a screensaver. That vision board is going to come true. I'm telling you that right now, it always works. So create a vision board here because as you enter this new chapter, this is almost like a clean slate for some of you. This is your, um, you could put whatever you want in it. And spirit guides really want you to enter this without any of that past baggage, without any of that past thought process without any of those, um, it's, it's really you shedding the old, really dusting yourself off and kind of entering this new chapter on a new note. Okay. So this could be a new job. This could be a business that you're starting. This could be a project that you're working on. They want you to start it with a fresh mind. 
and wipe that uh, slate, that old history, uh, just delete that or just wipe it clean and really um, put yourself up in a new system, a new belief system as well because this new chapter of your life, uh, Capricorn, you're meant to grow, you're meant to rise, there's an ascension happening here. Everything is showing you around you that this is actually taking place and you're lining up to that path that you're actually meant to walk down. Okay, so, and this is lining up to your happily ever after. All right, there's a lot of things working in alignment in your favor right now, Capricorn. It's something definitely to be happy about, something to be, be excited about, really something to kind of help your energy lift up just a little bit or even as far as you want, as high as you want, because you have a glass ceiling on top of you and you're meant to rise past all of those glass ceilings, Capricorn, that's the power of you. Especially those of you that have feel have been feeling like there's been slow progress in your life. Um, it's time to pivot and start making changes. It's time to look at things and assess them a little bit better just to see where you need to make those changes. So when you enter this new chapter, you have a little bit of a clear idea on what it is that you need to do as you move forward. Now we've got the five of wands energy coming in as well. So some of you might be experiencing um, erratic people. The road rage thing is coming in. Don't give that any of your energy here. My friends, this five of wand um, card doesn't deserve any energy. I feel it's time to protect yourself and your energy from vampire energies. People that take, take, take and don't give anything back. It's now time to put some firm boundaries up around them. And remember that no is a complete sentence. That if people are wanting your energy, especially if they're pulling you down, weighing you down, it's time to take that energy back. It's time to take your power back here, Capricorn. I feel there's somebody or people around you that are trying to irk you. There's a situation maybe that's kind of... Um, unfolding in front of you where you know it's like that's a bad idea I don't want to take part in this don't take part in this and if someone is trying to get a reaction out of you don't give it to them okay there's a lot of things going on some things you can't control if, if you're being pulled into a situation just let those people know or let that person know that you don't want to be involved in this that you know I've got some healthy boundaries up I'm focusing on something else. This is not the energy. This is not where I want to put myself. And you're going to have people, especially those of you that are coming into this new chapter of your life, you're kind of focusing on your goals. And because you're doing some shedding and entering this new life, you're letting some people go. And these people might not like it. They might, might not like the fact that you are uh, growing as a person. You're succeeding. They're seeing the success as well. So you might have people that are a resentful or jealous and that's a them problem leave that problem with them they have to deal with their own problems you take care of yourself you take care of your well-being you take care of your mind and where you put your thoughts don't focus here focus there on your goals what's in front of you all right turn your back on things like this I feel here especially if it's a partner you have to sit down and have open communication with them. I feel sometimes we are agreeable. Some of you Capricorn, sometimes you can be agreeable, right? I'm sometimes agreeable as well. And being agreeable in my own personal experience has kind of brought me to a place where I get caught in this five of wands energy, whether I like it or not. So there's a lot of exhaustion. There can be anxiety with this. There can be fear with this. So it's now time to stand your ground, stand in your truth, stand in your values and your beliefs. If someone's trying to test you, don't give them your energy. I feel it's time to preserve your energy because you're onto something big here. You're meant to rise high here and that energy is meant for you. I feel a lot of you Capricorns give a lot of yourself. And when you do this, some of you experience the, the you know you experience people that don't give you what you give them so it almost keep, kind of leaves you with this bitter taste in your mouth this feeling of disappointment being let down you know things that don't work out in your favor maybe because you put uh, expectations on other people so managing your expectations around people is going to be very important as you move forward, as you grow, Capricorn. So limit the amount of energy right now that you are giving to people, especially people that 
bring you down or push you down in life. Okay, I feel they have to do their own healing, but it's in their own time. They have to recognize that you need to kind of focus on yourself right now. You are about to meet the Ten of Cups energy here. Some of you are already experiencing it. This could be in the background. You're not giving it any attention here. Some of you Capricorn, so way to go for that. I feel you are very focused. You are someone that is very steadfast. You're kind of... Um, It's, it's an interesting energy because your, your focus is on your wealth. Your focus is on building this empire, Capricorn, and leaving a legacy behind. And I'm letting you know right now that you, my friends, are going to become your own legends in your own life. I, I feel you're not here to compete with anyone. You're here to rule your world. And that's exactly what is happening. And this new chapter is going to be all about that. All right, so this is your reading through the tarot cards. I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you, Capricorn. This is the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. So I'm going to pull a card from this deck and read you the interpretation. So those of you that have been seeing signs from the universe, especially through animals and insects, this is going to be your confirmation today, especially if you've seen one that I pulled today. We are getting dragonfly. Magic is all around you. Capricorn, if you've seen a dragonfly, this is your message today. Let me pull this for you. And if you haven't seen one, you're actually seeing one right now on your screen. So let me read you the interpretation here. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. What a beautiful message. Let me read you the interpretation here from the guidebook. Capricorn, have you been seeing dragonflies lately? I feel some of you have been seeing them. I also see that some of you may have seen one right in front of your face. All right, so dragonfly is an ancient creature. It is estimated that they have been on the planet for millions of years. They are gifted survivors. Their brilliant colors come only with maturity. This is a core truth of their wisdom, growth, enlightenment, and your best self comes with time, Capricorn. Dragonfly asks us to be patient with ourselves and the process. Their first two years are spent in the water as nymph. In late spring, they crawl to land, dry themselves off, and take to the air. The last stage of their life is stunningly short. Dragonfly people are urged to seize the brilliant moment while they can. If dragonfly comes fluttering into your awareness, know that messages, uh, sorry, let me read that again, Capricorn. If dragonfly comes fluttering into your awareness, know that messages, change and opportunity are on the wind. Perhaps a loved one who is now spirit is reaching out. Nature, spirits and magic are always near da dragonfly people. Pay attention to omens, Capricorn. If dragonfly is your, p is your totem, you have the power to continually transform into something better and more brilliant. You will always have everything you need to prosper. You even, you, sorry, if you ever feel static, call upon the energy of the dragonfly to help change the situation and lift you to a brighter and more beautiful world. So look at that. What a beautiful energy. It's almost like you're a shapeshifter, Capricorn, that any kind of transformation, any kind of um, change in your life, you're able to adapt to it very easily. So this is such a beautiful message and I feel this is in line with your reading today. All right, I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right, so we are getting number 12. I am a visionary Capricorn. If you've been seeing 12s, 1 and 2s together, this is, your this is your confirmation that you, my friends, are a visionary. Let me read this to you. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. Look at you, look at you go Capricorn. My goodness, I my husband's a Capricorn and so is my younger daughter and they are visionaries. Their imagination is amazing and the ideas that they bring to the table and the inspiration that I get from them is absolutely amazing. So 
This is your reading here, Capricorn. If this message resonates for you, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.